Hello YouTube and welcome to Fixit Sama channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build your own Bluetooth speaker. Here's what we need. A USB Type-B socket like this one you can use a regular usb but because i don't have a lot of space in my box i'm gonna be using this one two inch speaker like this one of course the bluetooth board battery and our case is gonna be the floor protectors like this i'm gonna be using two of them to make our box so let's get started okay guys so i made a close-up on the board we have the connection for our USB socket right here. We got the battery plus and minus, and we have the speaker. So this board only has connection for one speaker. You can purchase another board that you can connect two speakers. It's up to you. And first, we're gonna start by connecting our USB socket. And now we're gonna install our battery. And the last thing to plug is the speaker. Okay guys, after plugging the speaker, the battery, and the USB socket, we're gonna make sure that it's working properly. First, we're gonna plug the charger. All right, as you see, the red light is on. It means it's charging properly. And now we're gonna turn it on, make sure everything is good. And we're gonna turn on the Bluetooth on our phone. And now we're going to put some music on. All right, as you guys can see, it's working perfectly. All what we need to do is to make the case and the project is complete. Okay, so this is the speaker side. So I'm going to be making some random holes over here for the sound. So this is the result, this is the speaker side. And now for the other side of the box, I've removed the rubber, as you see over here. Now I'm gonna make a big hole in the, in the center to be able to control the board. Okay, so after making the big hole, all what we need to do now is to measure how much we're going to cut for our USB socket. As you guys can see, we don't need a lot. All right, so now it's time to assemble our speaker. And now it's time to secure our battery. As you guys can see, I put a piece of rubber over here so it doesn't have direct contact on the board.
And now it's time to secure our USB socket. Okay, so now it's time to close the box. So now we're gonna do the last test, make sure that it's charging properly and it turns on and off before we close the lid. So as you guys can see, I made a hole in the rubber cover so we can see the light indicator when it's charging and when it's turned on. All what we have to do now is to glue it and turn it on and see how it sounds like. So since I've made the hole now, I know the power button right next to it. Simply I can press on it. And all what you need to do is to listen to some music. So there you go guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to Fix It Samo and we will see you next time.